Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net, and I'm going to be looking at a game from the uh, Youth World Chess Championship in 2005 in Belfort. Um, so this is a game between Adam Tukayev with the white pieces against Radoslav Wot Sav Wot Asik. Um, and uh, let's see. So Tukayev he opens with e4, and Radoslav plays the Sicilian. And so knight f6 and a6, so it looks like he wants to play a knight or here. And so Tukayev plays bishop c4, so this is the bishop Sozin variation and uh, extremely aggressive weapon. So bishop to b3, and, and e6 is really played to defend uh, the d5 square. So b5 immediately, this seems to be the most topical, um, just kind of the most aggressive response, I guess you could say, for black. And bishop to g5 is also a pretty aggressive line. Also, queen f3 uh, is possible. f4 has been played, and also even castles or a3 for white. So bishop g5, pretty aggressive. And bishop e7 allows um, queen f3. So maybe, I don't know if it's a little too early. I mean, queen b6 is possible. Although I believe white has played f4 and queen d2 in response to that. Queen b6 will be tying down um, the queen to the defense of the d4 knight. So bishop e7 and now queen f3. So white has got a couple ideas of playing e5 and taking that rook on a8 in a, in a couple of tactics. So queen b6 countering by attacking the knight and also now bishop b7 is a possibility. So castles in knight d7. Um, black is just... I, I really like the opening for white because black is always... Seems like he's struggling to catch his breath against this opening because it's just... The, the natural placement of the pieces for white is just so aggressive. So knight, knight d7, and now rook e1. So white is already, you know, completely completed development. And... All that remains is, you know, he's going to have to figure out, is he going to play knight f5, knight to d5, some kind of sack, or even queen to g3 and f4 to break open the center. So rook h1, um, totally ready to bust open the center. And so now, um, Radoslaw, he tried knight c5. He wants to, I mean, first of all, there's a bunch of nasty sacrifices looming on the e6 square with bishop takes e6, something like that. Um, so black, knight c5 is going to go ahead and defend that. And maybe, maybe black can even start thinking about something, you know, attacking on the, king's, on the queen side with b4 and, and the a pawn as well. So knight c5 um, encounters a violent refutation from Tukayev, and it starts with knight f5. So it's very common for white to sack a knight on the d5 or f5 squares in this variation. And uh, in this game, I mean, it really shows why. So he busts open the e-file. So now this rook is going to be active. First, he starts um, by messing up black's pawn structure. So bishop takes f6. And now bishop takes... Um, this just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's check. White's picking up a rook. Um, yeah, make, makes no sense. So uh, bishop takes f6, forces. G takes f6. And now knight d5. So another just, you know, an accurate move. Why not go ahead and stick the knight in um, and, you know, open things up like that? Because maybe if white plays pawn takes bishop b7 and maybe knight d5, now it doesn't work quite as good. You know, the, white really wants to occupy d5 with the knight. Um, so just, you know, a point where those little in-between moves can really make the difference. So knight d5, um, definitely a good example. Just go ahead and attacking b6. Queen d8 is probably forced, and now just pawn takes. So um, looking at the material, I believe white has one pawn for the piece, but he's got a ridiculous amount of threats looming in the position. The rook on a8. Um, so black starts with rook a7, defending the rook, and more importantly, laterally defending the bishop. So that's one tactic. Here white could cash in, play something like knight takes f6, um, which I kind of, you know, kind of would want to play myself. Knight takes f6 seems to be just a very natural move, but I guess it doesn't quite work. I mean, knight takes, let's say, something like this, and maybe black gets, he gets to actually use this bishop. And then maybe the rook can open up 
Um, maybe black is going to be kind of okay. So knight takes f6, you know, no, no point in snatching a pawn. It's more important to keep black's king in the center. So queen g4, a nice move, introducing the queen g7 threat, um, which then knight takes f6 would, would you know, kill it. So um, black plays king f8 to step out of those threats and prevent queen g7. And now rook e3. So Tuka, I have just bringing the pain. I mean, rook e3 is just uh, you know mobilizing the rooks along the third rank. Um, Going to create a ridiculous amount of threats along the e and the g files. And so black plays h5. He's trying to gain a little space for his king. And queen f4, just eyeing everything. I mean, if white wants to cash in and, and try to take the d6 pawn, um, he can do that. But really, he wants to eye this h6 square. So a5 by black um, definitely makes sense. He's got to get some kind of counterplay. And now with a3, takes, takes. Um, so black did manage to get rid of one of white's attacking pieces. Now rook c7, kind of a sneaky move. If white decides to cash in and take the exchange in this position, maybe black is, maybe black is going to be okay. I mean, it's pretty tough to say, you know, rookie one, it's a nasty threat. But maybe black can somehow get out of this mess. So instead, Tukai have just played king b1. He didn't want to trade. I mean, the knight is just too strong. King g7, just check. And now, repeating moves, probably just trying to gain time for white on the clock. And now um, rook d1. So now bringing the last piece into the attack. White is still down a piece for a, a one pawn, one double pawn. But, you know, a piece doesn't really matter when your king is, is just stuck in the corner. Radosaw tried bishop, bishop f8. It's kind of the only move to keep any of the material on the board. And now after check, king h7 and rook e8. Black was forced to resign because he's just he's gonna lose too much material and he's gonna get mated. So very impressive game by the young Adam Tukayev. Just um, really seized the initiative from the first move and never looked back. So this is Will Stewart from onlinechesslessons.net and thanks for tuning in.